Well, yeah. the ranger knocks on the door, yeah, and says, do you and your mum want to stalk a rhino? Now, it's not what you're thinking. <laughs> what are you wearing? I'm outside. No. <laughs> it's when you follow a rhino on foot, yeah, through the bushes and shit like this, yeah. Now, I didn't know if I wanted to do this with my mum, cos me and my mum had got beef, right? When I was growing up, I was in the garden, yeah, and a bee came in the garden. And my mum went, Alan, pretend to be a flower. <laughs> then it will buzz away. When you think about it, bees love flowers, don't they? <laughs> That's twisted shit. <laughs> and I'm going on safari with this woman. <laughs> Look, Alan, there's a lion. Pretend to be a leg of lamb. So, I'm with the ranger, yeah, and he starts telling us about stalking a rhino. Obviously, when you, when you approach the beast, if there's any sudden movement or noise, just make small, comfortable steps, like this, <laughs> back to Jeep, with no sound, like so. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I got all cocky, went, hello! Of course I'm gonna do that, I'm not a moron! Of course, I'm going to make small, comfortable steps back to the Jeep. That sound. Check, I'm a dickhead. <laughs> Next day, me and my mum are walking up to this rhino like this through the bushes. All of a sudden, it turns around and goes, <sighs> I went, ah! <laughs> I ran. I ran. Not only did I run, I pushed my mum in front of it. <laughs> I ran in Crocs. That's hard. Cos that ain't my idea of fun, do you know what I'm saying? The, the closest I've come to death is nearly choking on a Barocca. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> my uh, idea of brave is sticking my iPod on shuffle at a party. That's brave. <laughs> Why does everything have to be extreme? That's what gets me, do you know what I mean? What's on the telly these days? What do we have? Extreme fishing with Robson Green, don't you? What else? Extreme makeover, what else? Couponing! Extreme couponing! <laughs> That show is shit, but it's like cracking eggs. They watch it. <laughs> I know. You go, who watches this shit? Cut to four o'clock in the morning. Will she ever spend those coupons on bleach? <laughs> extreme weather. Weather's extreme, innit? You know who's loving the extreme weather, don't you? The weather forecasters, innit? They're loving the drama. Who's that one BBC weather in the morning? Scottish woman. Carol. <laughs> She's loving it, and she's extreme weather. She's dishing out advice now. Have you seen her? It's gonna rain today, so I'd wear a coat. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. <laughs> what about when they start telling you the weather that's happening at the minute? Have you seen that? It's sunny outside. Oh, thanks, Carol. I wonder what that fucking window was for! <laughs> What about when they tell you the weather that's happening at night? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Who gives a shit? It's gonna rain not one in the morning. Who cares? <laughs> well, you're gonna get a load of prostitutes going, mm, I'll be packing me waders. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I got all cocky, went, hello? Of course I'm gonna do that, I'm not a moron. Of course I'm gonna make small, comfortable steps back to the Jeep. That sound. Do you think I'm a dickhead? 